Hi everybody, I'm very welcome to Mentor and another video podcast. As always, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic out there. Today on the podcast, guys, we're going to be talking about aircraft lights. What lights do we have on the 737 and what are they for? So stay tuned. Right guys, uh, when it comes to the lighting of the 737, you have to understand a couple of things. Um, there are lights on an aircraft for a, a number of different reasons. Uh, we have the lights that you have which are similar to your car, which are the lights that we have up here on the panel. Uh, they include the landing lights, uh, which are shining straight ahead, uh, that illuminates the runway, which makes it easier for us to land during hours of darkness, and it also makes us more visible in the air. We have the runway turn-off lights that moves out from the from the um, from the aircraft and out towards the sides, and that illuminates illuminates the, um, the the like it says the turn-off for the uh, for the aircraft. So if you're coming up to a taxiway, for example, it's easier to see. It also illuminates if there would be anything coming in, like an animal from the side of the aircraft or anything like that. So that basically covers the forward view uh, when we're in the landing configuration. But we also have the taxi lights. So when we're taxiing in normal operation, we're using the runway turn-off light and the taxi light together. Uh, and that gives uh, some forward vision, but not as much as you would get from the landing light, because the landing lights are extremely bright. Okay. And those are the lights that we're using for operational reasons, just basically for us to, uh, to be able to see better, both when we're, uh, when we're landing and when we're taxiing and when we're taking off. Right. On top of that, there are several other lights. These lights are all on this side of the panel. Uh, we have the logo light. The logo light is, as the name suggests, a light that just shines on the logo on the back of the aircraft, on the tail. So that one we can switch on and off, and on, we only have that on really below 10,000 feet because that's the only place where anyone will actually see us. So that goes on at 10,000 feet. I'll talk more about the uh, when we use the lights a little bit later on in the videos. So make sure you stay tuned. Now, the next light up here is the strobe light and steady. So we have two positions for that. We have either steady and strobe steady. Right, steady, it's the navigational light. It's the green light on the right side and the red light on the left side of the wing that just shows basically the, uh, the way that the aircraft is situated. You know, from seeing where the green and the red light is, we can determine if an aircraft is coming towards us or is going away from us or if we see a left or the right wing of it when we're airborne, and the same when we're on the ground. We have that to steady whenever there's AC power connected to the aircraft. So whenever the aircraft has any kind of power source, uh, external or the APU, that should be set to steady so that, you know, so it's easy to see the, um, the aircraft in the hours of darkness, but even during daylight. To the right of the uh, strobe light, well, I should be mentioned as well that strobes comes on when we enter the runway. Okay, so the strobe lights are not on while we're taxiing, but we turn on the strobe lights. Those are those blinking lights on the wing tips uh, and on the back of the aircraft. So those ones will come on as soon as we enter the runway and they will stay on throughout the flight until we leave the active runway at our destination. So that's strobe and steady gives both those lights combinations and steady only is only the navigational light. Going to the right there, we have the anti-collision light. Now, the anti-collision light is a really, really important light for you guys, um, especially if you're working on the ramp. The anti-collision light, we switch on when the aircraft is about to move or start its engines. Both of those. So, um, if you see the anti-collision light, that is the, the blinking red lights. Uh, some, there are different combinations of lights on different aircraft, as in some are blinking, some are kind of moving slowly. Uh, but they're always red and there's always situated both on top and on the bottom of the aircraft showing that the aircraft is about to start moving and there is danger for people around. That's why it's called an anti-collision light. It's showing that there's a possibility of a collision and also that it's a possibility of danger for people working on the ground and around the aircraft. So if you switch one of those lights on while the aircraft is not actually operating, you will see the ground crew moving away from the aircraft immediately because that's a sign that something is about to happen. So it's a very important one. We only turn it on when we're ready to push back and we've received pushback clearance. 
wing light comes to the next on the side here the wing light will illuminate the wings now why would you want to do that well um, basically the only reason we would do that is to look for ice so if we're out we're flying in icing conditions it's dark we don't really know if we have actually a crude ice on the wing uh, on the uh, forward part of the wing but well, that would switch the wing light on that would flood the uh, the wings and we'll be able to look out through our cockpit windows and we'll be able to see if there's any ice there so that and any other reason that we might want to uh, look at the wing would be the reason to use wing lights. Normally we don't use them because when we switch them on there's a possibility that we might blind other aircraft on the ramp. So on the ramp very rare to see it switched on. And then we have the wheel well light and as the title might suggest the wheel well light illuminates the lights inside of the wheel well both in the uh, nose wheel well and in the main wheel well so that when we do our walk around we can check that everything looks the way it should. Okay. So basically, those are the lights that we have an input on. We also have the emergency exit lights. Now, the emergency exit lights, uh, they are there to provide guidance for the passengers in case of an evacuation. Now, they are both inside of the cabin. Uh, they, it's those lights you see in the middle aisle, and that's the cabin crew is always talking to you about in your safety briefings. Uh, they will illuminate and show a grass spot, so where you can find your exits. They are on the bottom of the floor. They're also in the top of the uh, of the middle aisle and they will show the emergency exits where they are as well and they also and this is something that you might not know they are illuminating the outside of the aircraft so they're illuminating um, the the where you are going to evacuate so if you evacuate out from the wings obviously if it's pitch black you it's gonna be hard to see where to go but we have lights on the wings or on the side of the aircraft that's illuminating the wings so that you can easily uh, slide down the flaps and get away from the aircraft in case you're using the wings and the same for all of the um, emergency exits where the slides might be um, opening as well uh, and that pretty much covers the lights on the 737 guys now if you have questions on this or if there's anything that you think that I should have added on to it then please let me know and uh, yeah as always guys make sure that you subscribe to the channel and another thing that you really really have to remember is make sure that you put that little ding on that little uh, bell on that you put that on in the channel okay because if you haven't highlighted that then you will not get any um, indications that I've released new videos and you really really do want one of those so make sure that you subscribe make sure that you uh, that you highlight the little bell so you get notifications have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you next time bye bye